Uh, okay, yeah, um, cool. I'll start. Hi, I'm Pearl. I'm a second year experimental psychology student. I go to New College, Oxford. Uh, yeah, and I have a, a stammer, basically. <laughs> Great, thanks. Hi, my name is Birtan, and I am a first year DPhil student in experimental psychology. Yeah, so if I something that I don't notice all the time, like in like people this is probably one of the most like, accepting places I've ever been in terms of like how people are accepting of how you talk. Like it's but definitely an improvement from like what you've experienced in, in school, how people like can react kind of not too well there. Um in, like in academic way you've got some of the most like intelligent people there, like wise enough maybe not to ask, but they're also like Everyone was kind of very interested if you did want to talk about it, um, potentially. Um, I find academic, it's great. Socially, you can have people asking sometimes. And something I do find is just a very busy kind of um, place and everything is very fast paced and you've got to get places very fast. And if you're in a cafe, is my favourite example of people asking like your name, what do you want? Like very like fast information, I can find it very hard to get words out and sometimes that does stuff and make me think, wow, well, maybe people maybe expect too like, too much from us in these like fast play, fast paced situations. But most of the time I can really think of a more accepting place to be. Um, as far as I have seen here, um, people are um, aware that it is not a uh, impairment, but it is it is a different way of uh, communication. Uh, so people are uh, more uh, acceptable here, and they can understand more. They empathize and uh, they are open to uh, learn more about that too. Uh, so Pearl, uh, what was it like for you to do interview with the uh, University of Oxford? Yeah, I mean, I guess like anyone who's applied to Oxford, like no, like yourself, no, like every part of it is really quite stressful. Like you do admissions exams, you write a personal statement, everything, and then I think that the interview like is stressful in its own way, and it's hard when you have the additional kind of level of I have like I find it quite hard to, to speak sometimes. Mm -hmm. I have a, a stammer. Um, adding that on top, yeah, really kind of adds to the stress and something that obviously most people don't have to deal with. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know if you were like scared for your horse as well in that respect. Yes, and uh, in the um, interview, actually, um, we had a limited time, so uh, it was also hard to deal. Uh, with that, but I uh, asked them if if I could use a uh, metronome in my presentation to increase my speech uh, fluency, and they accepted that, and I uh, did my interview with. Uh, Metro <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yeah, I think people are more willing to make allowances for this kind of thing than you might consider. Yeah. Maybe like you can ask for a thing that does help you. Like yeah. most of the time, people are willing to, to like, have you use it, which is great. And um, uh, and uh, they are aware that uh, what we say is more important than how we say. Yeah. So <laughs> completely, yeah. Um 
it's hard because you get told like preparing for the interviews like a lot of the information we got was like um like kind of have something to say at all times talk through all of your thoughts like whenever possible and so it's hard when you're speaking and then you kind of get like a pause just because that's how it works like what you're saying just cuts out and you're aware that you should be talking and you should be giving thoughts because you have them in your head and like you know what you should be saying but just because of like how stammering works you just can't and I found that to be quite stressful because you you know what you should be doing but just because of how your like speech works you just can't (laughs) yeah quite hard to deal with potentially I mean, tutorial is something, again, you expect when coming to Oxford, and again, it's something that's already stressful, you've got work to talk about, you've got a lot of questions to ask, that it's not fun to have maybe the added um, stress, potentially, of stammering and whether your speech will kind of flare up, or um, if it were. Uh, honestly, it's not something I've found I have too many problems with. No one else has ever said anything about it. Sometimes I'm, like, it's always me who catches myself, maybe not saying something in the way I want to or stammering on a certain word or phrase and then changing it to say something else. And I'm the one who thinks to myself, ah, oh, like, you can kind of beat yourself up slightly sometimes, but none of the judgment ever comes from anyone, any, anyone else, anything I've ever experienced, being annoyed at the way I say things is more internal, which is great because that means I don't have to deal with the reactions of anyone else, it's just how I feel about myself, which is something you could, it's probably easier to work on. Um, but yeah, tutorial's pr- pretty good. I haven't had to deal with anything from anyone else. People are really accepting and understanding. Um, I really like to share information with other people. Uh, so uh, I think that uh, uh, we can find an optimum way uh, for me to share uh, information with others and teach uh, in a c- clear way. Uh, actually, uh, I have a s- severe s- s- tumoring, but uh, we can, I believe that we can manage it. Um, uh, The tamarind is not about being um, less intelligent or competent, but it it is a way of speech and uh, one more interesting uh, information about stuttering is when um, we are alone uh, uh, we can speak more much more uh, fluently So, as I said, stammering doesn't make you any less intelligent than anyone else. You, like Just because you speak in a certain way, it doesn't change your ab- abilities or competence. And something I've just found is maybe the sooner you are able to accept having a stammer or um, or like having any certain way that you speak, and maybe part of your identity and something that is part of you, rather than something you're trying to actively work against or actively try and get rid of, I think maybe the sooner you feel at, at peace with it, and that's something I've found, and the sooner and the more you accept as part of your identity, the more able you feel to speak to other people about it and maybe let them know that it's something that has bothered you. And I think people will be more receptive and understanding than you might think. <laughs>